everyone welcome back to another episode of the mediator i am so glad that you are here i am glad to be here myself thank you all so much for the comments for the feedback for the interaction that we had from episode one i just want to let you know that you can always submit your questions and if you want the mediator to look into your particular situation we'll be happy to i will be happy to so use the link that you find in the comment section and drop in your application that way i would have access to your story well before we get in i just want to say this as relational beings that we are, we cannot avoid having problems or troubles or things that we encounter in our relationships. But that does not always mean that it has to end. And this is why you have the mediator, because the mediator will be able to look at the situation and bring the both of you to look at it through a different lens and hopefully have a solution, a closure, a reconciliation. Well, with that said, let's jump right into the question that we have for today's session. So this is a question from a gentleman who remains or who would want to remain anonymous. I have been married for nearly 10 years. We have an eight year old son. My wife works out of town. So for five days a week, she's not home. Even when she's here, she complains and goes to sleep. I take care of the house, the dog and our kid every day. We don't really like being around each other at this point. Let's take a note or put a point right there. He says, we don't really like being around each other at this point. I took a pay cut to work a job so she doesn't have to worry about taking care of our son. To top it off, she doesn't see the problem with the fact that I still have to pay the same amount that I have always paid all the while her money goes through the roof. I'm ready to take my son and leave. What am I not getting? Now that's the question that this gentleman is asking the mediator. What am I not getting? This is a packed loaded situation and I'll just break it down piece by piece as we go. There are two people who find themselves in a relationship. They're married actually, and they have a son and he has summarized the problem in that statement. We don't like to be around each other. And that's a big problem. That's a huge problem. Not only in this guy's situation, but I see it in a lot of relationships where people get married, maybe because they're excited, maybe because they heard about, you know, they, they're just excited about getting married and the wedding. And then they had feelings for each other but they did not have what is requisite to keep that marriage alive. To answer your question, what are you not getting? There are a lot of things that are happening in this relationship. One of them is there is no cherish. There may have been love. I cannot even say for a fact that you still love each other, but there is no cherish. Where there is no cherish in a relationship, either of you begins to take the other person for granted. And very well, you can see that your wife may be taking you for granted. You have told us a one-sided story. I have a couple of questions back for you and hopefully you don't fall on the side of taking her for granted. But here in this case, what you've painted out, she is taking you for granted. She doesn't recognize the fact that you're taking care of the kid, that you're taking care of the dog, that you're paying the bills, that you had to have a pay cut because she doesn't recognize that she comes home and she complains on top of the fact that she is not even home for five days of the week. It's very, very crucial. But here's the first thing I'll tell you. You need to sit down and ask her the question. Wife, are you happy? Are you happy being in this relationship and be ready for the honest response that you get? The next question is why are you not happy? Because you need to get down to the bottom of it. We would like to look at it from the lens of maybe she's going through something. Has this been going on for a very long time? Is she stressed? And this is the process of the benefit of the doubt while you're narrowing down to the real problem. But the bottom line in this matter 
is how do you revive love and cherish when it's out of the door say you guys got married you were all head over heels over each other you were so in love you 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 did a lot of stuff together but now it's complaining it's nagging it's a, a relationship where one person does not feel appreciated have a conversation with her what's happening where can we go from here sometimes we shoot ourselves in the foot because we get married to someone and we see the signs even before the wedding day that they're not that into you they're not that into you and yet we go ahead for reasons best known to us marriage that survives relationships that survive require more than love require more than just a physical attraction requires a high level of compatibility requires a level of communication between the both of you where you can understand each other what good is it to bend backward for someone who cannot appreciate the effort what good is it if you're going to try to reinvent yourself a million times to make work what the other person is not interested in? Usually, it's a bold step, but after all has been said and done, if this boat cannot sail, it's better you jump ship. Because all the while, all your energy will be going towards making work what was never intended to work in the first place. So now that you are in this situation, what are you not getting? Your wife may be out of love with you. It's hard and tough to hear me say that, but that's where you start the truth. So you can get down to the bottom of what this problem is. She may have fallen out of love with you because when a woman is in love or when anybody is in love, they try to make the other person happy and try to do the things that they know the other person will be happy and pleased with. But where she doesn't care? Also, have you taken a step to just look into your own self? Have you created an atmosphere for love? Do you feel like you have given your 200% to this relationship? If the light was shone onto your responsibility or your activities as a husband, are you going to pass that test? Because before you put her to the wall to be scrutinized, you want to make sure you have had a true and honest reflection within yourself that you have done everything possible in your own might to be a good husband and a good father and that you have not pulled her down with your words and that you have not made your home uncomfortable to a point where she does not want to be home. Think about it. Honestly, think about it. And if everything you have done, you think you have done your best and done your most, then she's out of love with you. And if she's out of love with you, the couple of things you can do, there's retreat, there's canceling, there's getting to the root of it, it's trying to reawaken the cherish, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, to be able to esteem, for both of you to esteem your relationship, that's the cherish, to value it above all else then those activities, those actions you're complaining about will not exist. It's a process, but you got to start somewhere. I hope this has answered your question. And if you have more, you need more details, I'm happy to shine light on it. And if anybody else would like to share your thoughts about what you think about the situation, we're always ready to welcome your comments in the comment section. Well, until next time, you stay blessed, and this is Excel on the Mediate.